For today's lesson, let's talk about a common mistake. This is a common mistake when you first learn algebra. The square of a plus b not necessarily equals to the square of a plus square of b. This is only true if either a or b equals to 0. And the correct expansion for square of a plus b is a square plus b square plus 2ab. That's right, it can be equal to a square plus b square if ab equals to 0. Then we will ask what happened when we have more of that? The square of a, b, and c, the actual expansion for this is equal to plus 2ab, bc, and ca. So if we reach, it is only a square plus b square plus c square, then this has to be equal to 0. Now in this case, it may not be easy to see what is condition for a, b, and c. But I will give you some example and see whether you can find the pattern. So our task here is to find a, b, c so that the sum of square equals to the square of sum. So for example, we start with 2, 2, and negative 1. 2 plus 2 plus negative 1 is 3. 3 square is equal to 9. And 2 square plus 2 square plus negative 1 square is also equal to 9. So in this case, if a, b, c equals to 2, 2, negative 1, the sum of square equals to square of sum. And we can have the next example, 6 plus 3 plus negative 2. So with this, this will equal to a 7 square, that is 49. Now, 6 square is 36, 3 square is equal to 9, negative 2 square is equal to 4, and it also sum up to 49. So this is another possible answer. So we will just focus on a, b, and c, then we can find out the following pattern, 2, 2, negative 1, 6, 3, negative 2, 12, 4, negative 3, 20, 5, negative 4. Are you able to find a pattern? I believe for some of you, you already see what is happening. If we start with negative 1, the integer after 1 is 2. So negative 1, 2, and the product of 1 and 2 is 2. This is how we get the a, b, and c. We start with negative 2. The integer after 2 is 3. Then the product of 2 and 3 is equal to 6. And the pattern follows. So now we may be a little bit greedy and to know what happened for the general case. Is it possible to have the square of the sum equals to the sum of this square? Okay, what is the criteria for this? From the expansion, we know that there will be two summation a i, a j, where i not equal to j. So in order this is the same, this has to be equal to zero. But it looks a little bit complicated. So we will find another way to get the condition so that this is true. So suppose that uh, a1 plus a2 all the way to a n minus 1 is equal to k. a1 square plus a2 square all the way to a n minus 1 square equals to p. If we want this to be happen, then we may let x to be a n and find what is the value of x. So from the left hand side, it is equal to k plus x square and from the right hand side it is equal to p plus x square now we are able to solve x easily this is k square plus 2kx plus x square and this is p plus x square cancel the x square so x is actually equal to p minus k square over 2k in particular if we set k equals 1 then x will equal to p minus 1 over 2. And it is easy based on this calculation. Example that we have just now, n is equal to 3. So we have three terms, k equals to 1. So the sum of the 2 is different by 1. So I start with 2 and negative 1. 2 and negative 1, so it will be equal to 1 
and 2 squared plus negative 1 squared it is equals to a, a 5. Then it suggests that the next one will equal to p minus 1 over 2. That is equals to 2. That's right, we will have 2, 2, negative 1 as our answer. Now we may proceed to n equals to 4 and k equals to 1. So you may think of 3 minus 1 minus 1 that is equals to 1. 3 square plus negative 1 square plus negative 1 square it is equals to 9 plus 1 plus 1 that is 11. So from there, x will equal to 11 minus 1 over 2. And that is equal to 5. You can check that um, a, b, c, d, 5, 3, negative 1, neg negative 1 will fulfill the condition. That is, the square of 5 plus 3 minus 1 minus 1 equals to 5 square plus 3 square plus negative 1 square plus negative 1 square as shown. After this, we would like to extend the idea into a series. And we have a very nice example that is the result shown here. In my opinion, it is very beautiful and I hope you enjoy it too. That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again. Bye-bye. <coughs>